and excellence in all regards of medical studies. And the recipient of this year uh, is Mark Taylor. So Mark gets to stand here for a moment while I introduce him. <laughs> Mark was inducted into Alpha Omega, Omega Alpha AOA uh, as a junior, a great honor. He received honors in essentially uh, every clerkship during his third year. Uh, received the Best all around Student Award when he was a third year student. Uh, the Gold Humanism uh, Honor Society Award. Uh, outstanding student in the basic sciences. Uh, went on uh, during the course of his career uh, in medical school to conduct research in three different areas, uh, one of which led to a publication that just appeared uh, in the journal a couple months ago, in which he studied the educational value and impact of the student outreach clinic. Mark also served as the executive director of that clinic, and I've had the opportunity to work with him both in research and, uh, and the clinic, and can testify to his leadership uh, in both of those arenas. Uh, and the final thing I'll say that uh, I find the most impressive is your is the way he contributed to the education of his fellow students by developing uh, some study uh, materials for the board examinations as well as serving as an anatomy uh, instructor. I think that really testifies to the value that he brings uh, to the education of other students and the responsibility he feels for that education. So congratulations to Mark. Michael displayed a confidence and work ethic that one resident described as 
already functioning at the level of a resident. And I think this was his first day. <laughs> Michael consistently performs as an outstanding student in all of his rotations. He seamlessly became a member of the family medicine team, actively participating in discussions on rounds, and truly taking ownership of the care of his patients. Michael is an empathetic person with the ability to build great rapport with patients. In addition, Michael's contributions to the Family Medicine Interest Group, Sports Medicine Elective, and his Family Medicine Scholarly Project showed his commitment to medical student education. Over the course of the last two years, the residents as well as the attendings in our program have been inspired by Michael's dedication to learning and to the field of family medicine. He continues to display the ideals of what family medicine embodies, improving the health of patients, families, and communities by serving the needs of its members with professionalism and creativity. Michael Kimes has truly earned the honor of outstanding student in family medicine. We are honored to call on our colleague. Congratulations.
got to work together when she was a second year medical student, third year and fourth year. Um, I remember the day that I was on the inpatient service with Karen. We were in the newborn nursery examining a baby and she was on the other side of the bassinet um, when I learned that instead of going into emergency medicine, which had been her initial consideration, I believe that she was considering family medicine. And I saw the light in her eyes and was thrilled. Um, she's very enthusiastic and comes to us with a tremendous amount of clinical experience. As she worked for years as a flight nurse and also as a nurse in intensive care and a variety of other settings. So she is a great educator as well and has dedicated herself already to educating students and was a member of our fourth year elective, the Teaching in Medicine program. So we are very fortunate to have Karen joining us in family medicine here in Reno as well. Valley area. 
Um, so it's a tremendous honor to have Caleb as a recipient of this award and joining our family medicine program here in Reno as well. I just watched her and learning report 
And I know the first time I saw her, I said, who is that girl? She's articulate, she's professional, she sounds confident. Really, an outstanding job. And everyone around, when she went did rotations, way felt the same. In spite of this amazing knowledge base, one of our gifts is the Harrisons. Um, she, we figured she needed a summary of all those things that she needs to know going forward in her career. But I'm really very excited to have you get this work from her.
1927. He practiced in Reno from 1939 to 1969. He dedicated himself to the health and well-being of the children of the state for 30 years. He was a beloved and well-respected pediatric practitioner, and this award has been established in his memory. This year's award to the senior student demonstrating excellence in pediatrics is Erica Altman. So Erica just did an all-around outstanding job in pediatrics in all aspects of the clerkship, and that's why she got the award. She was one of our SI leaders, and she did a fantastic job for her peers. She also has worked for a scholarly concentration in medical education. And she did a project for pediatrics, and it's on a poster in the back of the room. And you guys should also check it out. It's really wonderful. And I, I noticed that you put my name on it. Everybody knows you did all the work. I'm not sure you need to do that. Um, she will be continuing her training at UC San Diego Pediatric Residency Program, and I'm sure she'll be an asset to the program, and I'm sure the residents behind her will appreciate and benefit from her love of teaching. Congratulations, Erica. this year to Stephanie Martinez. I've had the pleasure of working with Stephanie over the last um, two years during her third and fourth year in Las Vegas. And those who have worked with her would describe her as being extremely dedicated, having a great sense of humor, especially in very uh, challenging and trying situations having a great commitment to her community and community service, and also being a great advocate to the, her patients who have mental illness. I'm very excited to say that Stephanie is going to be doing a psychiatry residency program, and I'm greatly looking forward to having her as a colleague in the future.
Hi, I'm Jamie Anderson, and I'm the Director of Rural Medical Education, and it is my distinct pleasure to present this year's award for Outstanding Student in Rural Health to Stephanie Martinez. <laughs> Stephanie completed her rotation with Dr. Joanna Cope in Incline Village and delivered <coughs> solid clinical performance in all areas. In addition, she went to the Tahoe Science Academy and helped students that were interested in medicine learn the basics of how to perform a physical exam and the general importance of the physical exam. Then they practiced on each other with Stephanie's supervision. And for that, she gets extra credit points for courage. <laughs> and she also taught them how to take blood pressures on each other. The students had a great time, and it was very interactive, and they were very actively engaged in the process. She brought fun into learning and to then talked about her own path into medicine. She may very well have inspired a child who will now think, maybe I could do this. And so for this inspiration and creative approach, please join me in congratulating Stephanie. Good afternoon, my name is John Piles. I'm the chairman of surgery. And today it's a distinct privilege and honor to announce the Outstanding Student in Surgery for 2016 as Sean Davis. Sean. I was thrilled uh, to, to announce this today. Uh, I had the honor of actually writing these recommendations. And uh, Sean has Many of you may know are matched in orthopedics at the school's newest residency in orthopedics starting in Las Vegas on July 1. Uh, we've worked together across the clinical spectrum. Uh, Sean has always been excellent. His uh, path to being a newly minted physician is one of many experiences uh, punctuated by challenges and wise decision making, not to mention intellectual excellence and uh, a real affinity for bedside clinical surgery. Sean, I couldn't be more pleased to uh, have you receive this award. to do additional coursework above and beyond the standard MD program, as if that's not enough. Uh, this year we have nine students. Uh, additionally, each, this year we've asked each of our students to complete a poster outlining what they've done over the last few years. And you'll see those posters in the back, and after the, the ceremony, I invite you to, to go back and take a look at the great work that they've done. I'll ask each of our directors for the, the three concentrations today to come up individually, and we'll have our students uh, up. So first, uh, the scholarly concentration in nutrition, uh, Barb Scott is the director. And our student who completed that this year is Brittany Lucia.
Siobhan Moore. <laughs> Lindsay Murphy. Uh, project focused on discovering 
new small molecule therapies that enhance this, the, the muscle membrane. Um, and after screening 440,000 compounds uh, in collaboration with a group at NIH, uh, she came on one compound which she continues to develop. Uh, that compound actually has an FDA uh, approved analog, and we're looking forward to moving that analog into the FDA approved fast tracking it towards uh, therapies for these children. Uh, Perva has published in many uh, scientific journals and has presented her research both at national and international um, uh, meetings. Uh, she's a recipient of the uh, Mick Hitchcock uh, Scholarship. Um, and on top of that, of all those things, she's also a really wonderful person, and we really miss her in the lab. She's, she was like sort of the life of the lab, so, so, so congratulations to her.
Good afternoon, I'm Deborah Tolson, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs at the Las Vegas campus. Today I have the distinct pleasure to present the Outstanding Student in Clinical Science Award to David Warner. And David. While all awards are special, this one really represents um, evaluations across all of his clinical training, and so this really encompasses multiple years of medical school. I'm going to read you just a couple of comments that were um, made by David's professors. David never had an off day. He was always prepared and ready to learn. He knows his patients inside and out, and he takes time to listen to them and validates their concerns, never brushing them aside. He's excited to help his classmates along with the resident team and exemplifies excellence without ever being ostentatious. So congratulations. A historical person or a personal experience. 
Extra consideration is given that the topic is, pertains to Nevada or a disease of the West. The winning papers are considered for publication in the Bracewood tablets. In 2009, the chair of the department made the essay optional and encouraged not only second year medical students in pathology to submit an essay, but also invited first years to participate. This year, we had many essay submissions and we had difficulty deciding on one winner and then decided to give the two most outstanding essays, essay writers an award. Melissa Kelly. <laughs> Melissa Kelly wrote a paper entitled The Rise and Fall of Psychosurgery. She, she highlighted the history of the use of lobotomies as a treatment for mental illness from the early 20th century onward and discussed how the procedure fell out of favor with the use of antipsychotic medications and deep brain stimulation. Melissa is originally from Las Vegas and moved to Reno in 2010 to study at Neon Arms in undergrad, where she majored in English, literature, and neuroscience. She took a year off from school to study in Queensland, New Zealand for seven months. She decided to pick this topic because she was looking up Nobel Prize winners in medicine and enlisted. Um, Someone was awarded a prize for the nominees and wondered how, um, and she was curious how this procedure, uh, as she says, is horrific by today's standards, um, had been so well received that it was awarded a prize. Nicholas Vargas. <laughs> Nicholas wrote a paper entitled um, Malaria the Scourge to Treatment. He spoke on how, for a brief time in the 20th century, prior to the use of antibiotics, malaria was administered as a treatment for the syphilis. Nicholas is originally from Fallon and attended UNR as an undergrad with in biology. He is the first in his family to graduate from college. He is currently the laboratory manager for the student outreach clinic and wants to match into surgery and eventually work in the rural community in Nevada. He picked this topic because he read a book entitled the Malaria Project, which described a medical search for cure for neurosyphilis in World War II. He received the book as a gift in 2012 from a relative because he contracted malaria while volunteering in Cameroon, and the topic has been an interest to him and his family ever since. Class of 2016. 
and you can come, come up as I call your name, Jacob Anderson and Yvette Anderson.
University of Nevada School of Medicine. I want to take a moment to thank the um, staff who made this all possible. Um, Audrey Goodnight, our director of events here at the Division of Health Science, who always does a wonderful job. My staff in the Office of Commissions and Student Affairs, particularly Rob Whitman, our uh, commander today, Brendan Penny Ayazi, and Dirty Spargel, uh, as well as Raina and Ashley, and everybody who's here who really uh, comes together to put on the events that happen all week, actually. Um, we already have refreshments available in the back of the room, and our Scotland concentration posters are up. I uh, will invite you to come look at the posters and talk to the students. I know they would like to talk about their work. Uh, next up on the calendar is our Artists in Residence program. This is the fourth year elected where students, uh, three students who have been selected to present some of their art. It's going to be held uh, at the renowned Regional Medical Center Tahoe Tower Lobby. It's going to start beginning at 3.30. I understand that the students will be presenting at 4.15 and again at 5.15. I recommend you come. It's a great event and the students are very, very talented. So thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you.